<laughs> I want us to talk about this Achimota uh, school issue. In fact, yeah. uh, when the news first broke, when the High Court ruled, my guests, as we were discussing it, and I had a lawyer, I had uh, people in education, they actually thought an appeal was far fetched. They didn't see it coming. And then suddenly, the yeah, board of Achimota, you, you knew the yeah. people. But now the Minister of Education says that it's not in your place. Uh, it, it, is. So it is. I will explain that. It is. Okay, please yes. tell us. Now, um, I want to go into a bit of history. You see, if you gauge the conduct of the board, you see that they become intransigent. And when you, when you, when you, when you, when you, when you sense intransigence in people, they don't give up. They believe in the conviction of their whatever position they hold. Isn't that what we want boards to be? No. Boards are not supposed to be unreasonable. In fact, they are not supposed to conduct themselves unlawfully. And I'll tell you why. The board doesn't even understand the school that they superintend. Have they conducted themselves unlawfully? Yes, and I'll tell you why. The, the board, the board of governors of Achimanta School, they don't even understand the school that they superintend over. Achimanta School was conceived as a cool educational institution that was to take care of everyone. Do you know its motto? The motto says, ut omnis unum sent. That is Latin for the fact that that all may be one. Black and white. If you look at the crest of Archimonta School, it's a stylish, it's a stylish design of a piano, piano keys. Black and white. And one of the founders, Quidri Agri, settled on this because he says, when you are playing music with the piano, there are certain keys you can play with only the black keys. Certain songs or tones, tunes, you can play with only the black keys. There are certain ones too you can play with only the white keys. But if you want to achieve harmony in music, you need both to function. So with this philosophical thinking in, 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 in mind, he says Achimota must never be a school that would deny anybody the opportunity to, to receive education. So in 1923-24, le the Legislative Council was impressed upon by God's back to approve a budget of 660,000 pounds to establish such motors as, a, as, a, as, a, as, a, as an educational institution for males. It was Agri and, and Fraser who falls, who impressed upon Gajizbek and the rest to include females. So between 1924, when the school began, up to when it was opened officially on 28 January 1927, girls were admitted. Blast, persons from all walks of life were given opportunity to, to be trained in Achimata School. It was an institution that trained, sec, that gave secondary education, trained teachers, and offered edu uh, vocation, vocational education. Achimata was the source of supply of students for the establishment of Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, the engineering faculty. The music faculty led to the establishment of the School of Music at Winneba. So Achimota School, it's not a kind of school that you can, act, you can deny people the opportunity to get admitted. That is, that is even my basic position. Now, if you go to our constitution, the constitutional provisions are very, very clear. In Articles 21, 1C, Articles 25B, Article 26, 1, Article 34, Cross 1, Article 35, Cross 3, Article 35, Cross 4. If you read all this combined, a public educational institution in 2021 Ghana, 100 years after the formation of Achimota School, cannot deny a Ghanaian child the right to be admitted on grounds that he wears dreadlocks. dreadlocks. For Christ's sake, we are Nubians. 
Well, that's why the issue went to court, hold on, right? Hold on, We are Nubians. We are blacks. And by our nature, that is how our hair looks. So if somebody says that I won't cut my hair, that is exercise of his natural rights, inalienable rights. You can ask whether the hair is the hair in such a state is being kept well, neat, hygienic. How how is it even possible that the Republic of Ghana is resisting the students in this matter? Is it the Republic that's resisting? It is the Republic. Oh, because, of the, because of the oh, difference that was... Yes, there is there's the presence of the Attorney General in this matter. And that's, that is one of, one of the sadness for me. But how, how much we cross that bridge? I mean, the court ruled, right? Yes. So a decision was made. They yes. were ordered yes. to but, admit the Yes, students. but they are back in court. But I want to tell them that an appeal does not operate as a stay of execution. Yeah, but we understand that you know, the, 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 they have to go back to court for something that they will present in the school. Explain that. For something? Because they can't, can they just show up to be admitted? First of all, the judgment uh, will have to be entered within seven days. So it has to be, there's entry of judgment, we mm. call it. We have to file what we call entry of judgment within seven days after the judgment has been um, uh, delivered. delivered. So the lawyers, the applicants in this matter, will have to take steps. And when they do that, they will serve it on the school. On the school, OK. When it is served, then now you can execute okay. the Because the we, 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 according to the registry, my last check was last night. Yes. Because we all want to read exactly yes. what the judge yes. said, mm -hmm. so that we will be able to question yes. and put some of the issues across. Yes, I agree. But we all don't have it yet. Um, you know, the delivery of judgments and the certifying the true copy. You remember the oh, Republic. Mr. Hold oh, on. We were here when the uh, election on. petition. Hold on. <laughs> I, I, no, you see, I am, I am just trying to give possible reasons why. Oh, officer the, of the court, as for the, this the one, the judgment yeah. may delay. The, the certified true copy may delay because of the topical nature of this matter. The election Maybe, petition was extremely oh, topical. I agree. I agree, but the judgment was delivered when? Uh, this, was, this was Monday, wasn't it? Yeah. No, I think Today's it was Wednesday. Tuesday. No, it was, it was Monday. Monday. Yeah. Today's Wednesday. Monday, 2 p.m. I hope, I hope, I want to believe that by close of today, mm. we will get the certified true you copy. You are indeed an officer of the court. Yeah, we'll have the certified <laughs> true copy, <laughs> you know. And, and so for me, Mama, I, before... I, 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 be, I'll come back to you on this. Well, I just want to get well. his... Yes, sir. Uh, Mama, I, well. I think I've been listening to a lot of commentary about this issue, but listening to uh, my honourable member, I think he's made one of the strongest uh, cases for, for the students. Um, and I, I commend him for that. The history and everything that he's given us. I think that's very, very insightful. Mahavi, I'm sad. <laughs> I'm very sad. Because when I was in prison, Mahavi, in my dormitory, Muslims will be praying, and we Christians will be going to uh, worship. Mm, but this one is red rocks. No, but I mean, there was, one is locks. Uh, oh, oh, no. there was nothing irregular about it. I mean, I don't know why. Listen, GES, Minister of Education. Mama v, are you saying we don't have learned people, seasoned educationists in those institutions to bring all these parties together to, to resolve this matter? And for almost two to three months, Every day we are discussing this matter. To the extent I have to go to court. I'm, I'm, I'm quite disappointed in the GES and the ministry. This matter, I believe there are too many intelligent people in those institutions to have brought cool heads to bear and solve this matter. My worry is the students. Yesterday I was listening, two days ago I was listening to them. Apparently they are still home. These are kids who have qualified have eight, some have seven A's, eight A's and all that. They're brilliant. I mean, what is this? What kind of trauma, trauma are you taking this case through? What kind of trauma? Now you have been told that it's going to, there's going to be an appeal. So if there's an appeal, these kids cannot go to school. They cannot be in school. Appeal can take, Mr. Dafim is a lawyer. And they know their tactics. It can take as long as six, seven months. Look, it can even take I mean, what is this? It can take years. Hey, Mavi, what is this? So if even if
if you cannot admit them as board, uh, boarding students? They don't want to be boarders. So what, what is that? What they is the are actually day it? students. So what is the big deal about it? What is the big deal? A school of about thousand and something students. If two of them are Rastafarians and they are day students, what is so what is so wrong about it? Or their fear is that when they admit them, it will open some kind of floodgate for any other person of any other religion. Anybody can dress anyhow and come to the school. I'm not sure but that's going to happen. They've had experts with hair looking like I mean, that. Mavi, in the I think I think we have too many intelligent. I I I, I feel shy. But I have a question. Hmm. Though. I have a question. Like I've been thinking. So this is it. It's not like they applied to the school direct. They sat for an exam, passed, and they give them their chosen schools. So they were placed by the Ghana Education Service Absolutely. to Achimota School. Yes. So maybe the two of you can help me. If a school yeah. is refusing to take them, not because they didn't pass, it, it, is the GS Ministry of Education saying they can't do anything? You are, you are, you are coming back to my, my point. It's about leadership. It's as if there's no leadership. Hold on. Hold on. Not that there's no leadership. There's inactivity on the part of leadership from the ministry and leadership from the school yeah. management. Yes. Because, you see, the admission is no longer in the hands of the school. No. That is why they move from admission. We, I don't know why journalists will still stick to the word admissions. No, it is placement at their level. Well, but apparently after you've been placed, you now have to go to the school yes. and yes. get their guidelines yes, it's for just, them to admit you. No, it's just regularization. They don't have, look, you can't, under the free SHS, you cannot refuse any student. So even, on grounds, even on grounds of academic performance. You cannot. Once the child has been placed. Please, that's all. All you have to do is, is to tell the child what, to, what, the what things to, you require. But you see, that's just in the books. As we no, have seen it is not. and witnessed, it is not. they refuse it, it them. It is not. Other schools are, actually do that. Ah. That is why the question is, why is Achimota School doing this to children in the 2021 Republic of Ghana? You mentioned the Attorney General. Yes. That's the President's chief... Legal advisor. Exactly. So that is where the irony lies. The Attorney General last month told us in the Republic of Ghana, in this country, that LGBT plus people, they are right. LGBT plus people. Look, I was in parliament with a Rastafarian. Do you know the Honorable Ras Mubarak? Do you know he's the Rastafarian? You don't know. Ras Mubarak until about 10 years ago. Had had Rasta. Mr. Damamoko, he used to be a radio presenter. Thank so you. Know. Hold on. No, no, hold on. I'm just making a point. He was in parliament with me. Very brilliant man. And he was a Rasta man. So, so the people should say that because he was a Rastafarian, he, sh he should not be voted into office. He served his people with distinction. Well, here's, here's, and this is playing the devil's advocate. He didn't have locks when he was in parliament, did he? No, because, no, be, and I'll tell you, you why. You've got colleagues who are Rastafarians who are lawyers, but they don't have locks. No, I, I'll tell you why. You, you know, genetically, they, you know, he, he began to grow, grow bald. Uh, I would say it is my friend. Oh, your fraternity, yes. the legal fraternity, yes. they don't tolerate that. They do. They do? They do. Is there? Nobody can stop a Rastafarian from practicing. It's not even a criteria. No, no. I'm talking about dreadlocks. Why? You can go to court. I've seen women wear this in court. No, I'm talking about men identified as Rastafarians. Uh, what, is the, what is the issue about men and women? It is neither. Neither is the You point. know, I'm just asking so that we can appreciate Mama v, the practicality I am saying, of this. Yeah. Mama V, I am saying that I've seen a lot of women in court in in with this hairstyle yeah but they are religion which is, which, we're, we're talking about the religion why it's religion the issue. Rastafarian. it's not even the so re religion saying, it's not the issue so it is the appearance so you so i'm you're telling you that mother attitude is not about the religion it's the appearance of the, of the children that that's what they think that it offends their sensibilities so so answer my question uh yes. mr Honko. yes your legal people yes do, do you know a, a ghanaian lawyer who is rastafarian yes with dreadlocks yes Oh, okay. Why? Nothing stops you. Okay. I was just curious. At all. Mm. In any case, the women go to very expensive extent. 
to 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 do to do artificial rasta anyway. No, mine is natural rasta. Exactly, and you will soon become a lawyer. <laughs> Amen. And somebody will stop you from practicing. <laughs> And so I am. You, so I am. Tell me. I am getting scandalized that you are not. You are not angry about the conduct and attitude of Atimota School. And you see, what, what the board is doing is what? not even reflective of the entire Atimota School. That is the tragedy okay, of the. Okay. So let's get back on track. All right. We are. We are back on track. So one, we should even determine whether the board, as presently constituted in Atimota School, have the mandate. You know, some, some of the board, a lot of the board, their mandates have expired. Hmm. They've not been reconstituted. The reason you know, the board Uncle Anochi Teaching Hospital said they couldn't reverse a decision taken by a certain board. board. Because it won't no, be when the board has proper mandate. Look, the board, they are institutional representations. It's considered with all students, the chiefs in the area, the municipal assembly has representation. The regional director of, uh, of, of education is actually represented or who sit on the board himself or herself, and the, the head headmaster or headmistress. Mm. We need to know whether all of these, their mandate has properly been renewed. Doesn't it go back to the education ministry? Who constitutes exactly. the board? Yes. Yes. So this matter, leadership is extremely important. This is not a matter that should even go to court in the first place. Mm. People Mr. are misbehaving yes. in the name of the law when they themselves are, are, are breaching the, 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 the tenets and provisions of our constitution. So your constituents, eh, they see when you are very passionate and you talk about these issues that concerns them yeah. on programs like this. How do you do that in parliament? I mean, do you resolve the issues in parliament as well? We do. We do. So on this particular one, how? You see, I think I won't take well, Mr. Aduma Kumbaya's <laughs> answer. Okay, this okay one. my brother. I think before we rose, um, this issue had come up, and there was a heated debate in Parliament um, on this issue. I mean, there were divergent views. Others, others felt that yes, the school had um, the mandate to regulate the activities within the school. So others supported the view that yes, uh, if the school is saying they cannot admit, yes, please seek other. Others also felt that no, this this is a matter of rights, and if the student had gain admission so uh, through the right channel and they've been posted or admitted there they should be able to uh, be admitted and continue their education so yes it's something that we talk about really forcefully in parliament and as i said there's a, there was a time in parliament that this issue came up and there was a heated debate about it so uh, no. should, do we look forward to an urgent question or yes what? you know uh, we as part of our, our rules and orders in the standing orders we we are Restrain us to matters that are before court, not to deal with the merits. This one is not but in court. It's in court. How? Court ruled. They are yes, done. Yes, but they are backing. They are back no, they are not. Have they filed anything? Yeah, they have. They've indicated their intention. No, 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 no. Okay, they, they, have. Have. they have. Okay, they have. They have, they have seen processes. On, on their oh, okay. appeal. Yes. But this is no stay. No, 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 no. Okay. Okay, but you see, appeal is good. Appeal has reactivated the matter. Okay. So, so no, you are a lawyer, clarify. So it's not stay. Does that mean that while the appeal is ongoing, the student can, but, can but go to school? If they file a motion on notice for stay of execution of the order okay. of the court pending okay. appeal, okay. is one of the three key grounds okay. upon which you can file. Okay. Uh, you can file. If that happens, then the kids cannot go to school until the determination. No. Uh, yes. Then it means the court orders cannot be executed. Okay. Right. You know there are some some directives of the court that are non-executable. Okay. For instance, a declaratory order. Okay. You can't that one. The court has spoken. Okay. There's nothing to be done, done. after that. Okay. Uh, but this one, is a directive. It has to be carried out. Okay. But they are seeking to torpedo that with an appeal. Okay. okay. And once you file the appeal, then the next the next reasonable thing to do is to then pray. First, you pray the court, the court that had the matter, that you want its judgment to be the directives that is supposed to be stayed. The orders mm. to be stayed pending the outcome okay. of the appeal. Okay. The court can agree with you or not. All right. if, they, if, they, if the court refuses your application, you have the right to repeat it at the, at the court of appeal. Okay. All right. We'll see how this uh, you know, all uh, pans out today.